In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving capacitance per capacitor in your jam physics. So we are going to experiment with 11 repeated questions for this topic. Let's get started. The first question I have here says, the capacitance of a power plate capacitor is 20 microfarad in air and 60 microfarad in the presence of a dielectric. What is the dielectric constant? Alright, so guys, now know that when it comes to solving problems involving Die electric constant basically all you need is to divide this microfarad in the presence of a dielectric with that of the microfarad in a so in the presence of the electric we have the microfarad to be 60 over 20 and that will give us what the way so the right option is question option a it's as simple as this now the electric constant basically basically does not have a unit okay so that's it for this question let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question okay so the next repeated question will be this one it says capacitors are used in the induction coil to where prevent electric sparks dissipate energy control circuits prevent distortion of electric field so the right option this question is option A, which is to prevent electric sparks. Okay, next repeated question will be this one. It says the capacitance of a power plate capacitor when in air is 3 microfarad and in the presence of dielectric, six, dielectric material 6 microfarad and the dielectric constant is. So, the same formula the microfarad in the microfarad of the electric material is 6. The microfarad in air is three. So when you divide, you're going to have two. So the right option to this question is what option D. Alright, so that's it for this question. The next repeated question will be this question. It says the the capacitance of a capacitor is dependent on which of the above. We have the area of the plate, the distance separating the plate, the permittivity of the electric, we have the mass of the plate. So the right option in this question will be the one that includes I, 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 and I, I, I. So right option is option A. Okay, this IV is exceptional, so it, it does not depend on it, the mass of the plate. Okay, so that's it for this question. The next two question will be this one. It says a fiber battery is connected across the plates of a two microfarad on chain power plate capacitor. The charge on the capacitor after a long time is so. For this particular question, all you need is to employ the formula to calculate this. So the conventional formula you can use is to apply capacitance of the capacitor equals the charge over the voltage. So in the question, we have the capacitor to be two microfarad. That's two equals we are looking for the charge let's call it x over the voltage is 5 so it's as simple as this when you cross multiply we're going to have 2 times 5 that's 10 10 micro charge okay that's this option a all right so let's wipe this now so the next repeated question so the next repeated question will be this one it says the purpose of a dielectric material in a power plate capacitor is to Increase its capacitance, increase the magnetic field between the plates, insulate the plates for each other, decrease its capacitance. So the right option in this question is to increase its capacitance, which is option A. Okay, the next subject question will be this one. It says capacitors are used in the induction coil to prevent distortion of electric field, control circuits, prevent electric sparks, dissipate energy. So the right option in this question is option C, which is to prevent electric sparks. All right, the next of two questions will be this one. It says the capacitance of a power plate capacitor is 20 microfarad in air and 60 microfarad in the presence of a dielectric. What is the dielectric constant? I think we have solved this question before. So it's still the same formula to apply the microfarad in the presence of the dielectric, which is 60 over the microfarad in, in air which is 20 so when you divide we're going to have the way so the right option to the question is option c 
that's the dielectric constant okay so the next repeated question will be this one it says what charge is stored in a 0.1 powered capacitor when a 10 volt supply is connected across it okay so remember the conventional formula we have it to be c equals charge over voltage this is v okay so i'm going to have the capacitor here is 0.1 equal we are looking for the charge call it x over the voltage is 10 so when we cross multiply we're going to have basically 10 times 0.1 will give you 1 okay let's verify so that's it the right option in this question is option b which is one charge okay so let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question okay so the next repeated question will be this one it says when a piece of rectangular glass block is inserted between two power plate capacitors at constant plate area and distance of separation the capacitance of the capacitor will we have decrease decrease then increase remain constant increase so the right option this question is option d which is it will increase the last repeated question we are going to attempt to be this one it says the plate of a 0 0.5 microfarad on unchanged capacitor are connected to a 10 volt battery the charge on the capacitor after a long time is so still make use of the formula capacitor equals charge over voltage so here the capacitor to be 0 0.5 microfarad equals we are looking for the charge let's call it x over the voltage is 10 so when you cross multiply we're going to have 10 times 0 0.5 which will basically give you 5 Okay, so the right option to this question is option B, which is 5 microcharge. Okay, so that's it for this question. We let's call it the video, guys. We experimented with 11 with two questions on the capacitance of the capacitor for jam physics. Hope you something interesting in the video. If you are new to the channel, ensure that you are subscribed to this channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. To tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what I have talked about in the video, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. Also, ensure that you are part of the channel membership by clicking the join button where you will be receiving special information that will help to simplify your academic work. Alright, so having known that click on the screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.